It's a Whopper. By the way, that was the second time I've had that burger. Um, yeah, it just tastes like a burger. Anyways, hey everyone. Welcome to the long-awaited Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Miles Morales cosplay update. Wow, that's a long title. So yes, uh, the movie is like premiering in a couple weeks and I still have yet to like do any of the heavy sewing for this costume. I essentially have everything in place. It's just, I don't think, I just don't think it's gonna be done by the time I wanted it done originally. If you couldn't tell, I have a hard time with deadlines. Yeah, deadlines aren't my favorite thing. And before I actually get to updating you guys on what's happening with the cosplay, I had to give a huge shout out to Christopher Jennings who sent me $2 uh, to my Kofi account to help with this project. Thank you, Christopher, that was very, very nice of you. I really appreciate it. You helped pay for the pattern I'm using for this cosplay. So again, thank you to Christopher Jennings. Speaking of the pattern, uh, the pattern I'm gonna be using is ATX Spider's updated Miles Morales pattern. I had originally purchased uh, the original pattern he put out where it was just very simple. It was just black and red. Uh, none of the like, armor pieces are on there. But then he updated it and he sent it to me because I purchased uh, the first pattern. So I'll be using that pattern. I already have everything ready to be printed out. I just actually have to go buy ink for my printer because my printer sucks so much. So yeah, I will be using that pattern. Uh, it's one of the best patterns out there. Even just like the base of it is really good. I really, really like it. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to sew that. And speaking of sewing, I have some of the fabrics that I'll be using right here. So this is a metallic matte black spandex I purchased from Spandex World. So this will be the like armor pieces on the Miles Morales cosplay because it has that nice matte black but also kind of gives off gray when it hits the light right. Like, I well, can't really tell on this camera, I guess. But yeah, so I'll be using this uh, fabric for that. For the red sections, I'm gonna be using this clear dot red spandex. Uh, finally, they're back in stock at Spandex World, and um, I'm gonna be using this red spandex as opposed to like painting on the stripes or just using regular red spandex. Because of the dots on them, they remind me of the Ben Day dots that the film uses a lot. Um, I think it's to help contrast. Something, I don't know, I'm not that big of an artist yet. <laughs> and then for the rest of the costume, you know, the black like spandex I'm gonna be using, I've actually contacted a very talented man, Gavin Kelson. I contacted him asking if he'd be up to this project and he was, and uh, I don't have it yet because he's still working on it. I kind of started this project later than I probably should have, but you know, at least it's still happening. And he sent me some photos of the screens being made and it's just giving me excited, excited. Uh, like, I I really wanna see the final product and just see his talented work made. It, it, I'm excited, I am excited. And if you're wondering why I chose to do it just the black spandex and not, you know, like the red, the reason I chose to do that was because if you look at the suit, the red is like painted on, so it doesn't necessarily have like a texture to it. It doesn't have that like, is it is S? I guess, an, is it an S or is it a Z? <laughs> I think it's an S. That S pattern that the across uh, the Spider-Verse films have to their suits. But this, uh, if you look at the suit closely, it doesn't have that texture on it. So I just went with the clear dot to, uh, you know, Still have the like Ben Day dot effect, also just to give it some form of texture to it. And for the logos, I'm going to try to experiment painting them on. It might, it might not be the best idea, but I'm gonna see if I can kind of stencil out the spider on the front and the back and get some uh, white and red uh, spray dye. Uh, I don't think it's called spray dye, it's like fabric paint in a can. Uh, I've used it before, um, but not like this, so it'll be interesting uh, to see how that whole thing will turn out. And finally, what most of you guys are probably waiting for, the face shell uh, is done. Well, technically it's not quite done yet. Um, I still have the glue in the mesh right now. It's just kind of like friction holding it together. But yeah, so the face shell is essentially done. Uh, this specific file was from LDS3D. 
Uh, I remember when I first saw this uh, this uh, model, I was like, wow, this is probably one of the most accurate uh, across the Spider-Verse facials out there. So, yeah, I finally got to purchase it and 3D print it. Printed it on this old CR-10 right here. Uh, ignore that Blue Beetle helmet. And, you know, it turned out okay. The lenses could have uh, been better, but honestly, uh, I think you're gonna all be impressed with the actual suit more than the lenses. So, I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, I even have like that blue line in there that the movie does. And, you know, if I ever do a Into the Spider-Verse Miles suit, this would be perfect for that. So, I believe that's everything for the Miles suit, at least, that I have done so far. Which isn't a lot, but, you know, it's getting there. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you're excited for this cosplay to be done. Um, if I can't get this project done by, let's say, June 3rd, I will be uploading a sewing tutorial for ATX Spider's uh, Spider-Man pattern because I do need to test if the pattern will fit me first, so I definitely will be sewing a test suit. Uh, so yeah, you guys will have that to look forward to. But till then, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video where I will be talking about how I made, oh god, oh god, this Blue Beetle helmet.